there! I'm providing this quick tutorial to show you how to organize your workspace in Black Ink. First, here's your default workspace. At the top, you have the main menu. Below that, here, is the quick access bar to the settings of the current tool. On the left, you have the toolbar. And then you have three animated layouts on each side that allow you to stack many panels. To hide them, press Ctrl along with the left arrow key for the left layout, the down arrow key for the bottom one, and the right arrow key for the right one. To show them again, press Ctrl along with the left arrow key, then the down arrow key, and finally the right arrow key. To hide the entire interface at once, you can use the shortcut H or click on this icon. To resize the user interface, use the Ctrl Q shortcut. You can see the scale in the bottom left corner. Or go to the black ink icon here and resize your interface using the slider. To return to 100%, click on this icon. Regarding layouts, you can easily resize them by stretching the area like this without losing their display properties. I'm roughly back to my initial size. To remove panels from the layouts, grab the tab of the desired panel and drag it out of the area. You can leave it floating or on a second screen. I take my panel, and as I hover over one side, an orange line appears. Upon release, it stacks into that area. I'm moving my window to my second screen for better convenience, and I'm enlarging it. If you close the window, you can display it again going to the Window menu. To save your workspace, go to Edit, then Preferences. Here, I'm saving it and naming it so I can easily find it again. For example, you can create specific spaces for drawing or brush creation. Now it's time for you to customize your workspace. Thank you for your attention and see you soon.